Alright, we're doing a little factoring by grouping here. Fun stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so when we talk about factoring by grouping, where's my title? There it is. We talk about factoring by grouping here. Um, we look at this by basically pairing up the terms in a polynomial and factoring in that manner. As an example, let's look at something like um, xy plus 2x uh, plus 3y plus 6. Now this is a four term polynomial. So if we want to factor this um, by grouping, we really like to think of this as breaking these up into two terms. So we're really looking at one term there and one term here. So our two terms we're thinking of are xy plus 2x is one term plus 3y plus 6 is another term. So we're looking at factoring by grouping. We're breaking these up into little smaller groups and then factoring in that manner. So the first uh, binomial we have here we could factor an x out of and we have x times y plus 2 plus we can factor a 3 out of here 3 times y plus 2 and now what we can see is we have the same binomial terms in each so what we can do now is we can finish our factoring by saying the factorization of xy plus 2x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to this term plus this term x plus 3 times y plus 2 and if we want to check it we just need to multiply out x times y is xy x times 2 is 2x 3 times y is 3y 3 times 2 is 6 and we can see we come back to the same uh, expression we had so we're, we're able to do this because really we're looking at grouping these into smaller pairs and then just factoring those pairs. So to give you some uh, some ideas here. So there's a four step process really that I'm going to outline here. Um, the first thing we want to do, we want to group terms into two groups of two terms. Into two groups of two terms. Um, so each has a common factor. So we can rewrite, you know, this, this equation here. Um, we could have rewritten it another way. We could have written it as xy plus 3y plus 2x plus 6 and factored this way. We can take a y out of the first one, we have y times x plus 3. And we can take a 2 out of the first one, we have 2 times x plus 3. So we would still have x plus 3 times y plus 2. Okay, so we, we, can, we can factor in different, um, different order, so to speak. Okay, the second step, factor out. After we do that, we factor out. After we put the two, the group, the terms into two groups, two terms. We factor out the greatest common factor from each group. I think that's at the point where we've got them separated into their little groups here. Now we factor out the common factor in this uh, in this group and that group. Okay. Now, if we have a common binomial, if there's a common binomial. We factor it out. <clears throat> now, if we don't have a common binomial, if there is none, if there's no common binomial, do one of two things. A, check your math. That'd be the first thing. But then B would be to rearrange terms. So rearrange terms and go to step 
to you. Okay. So we're, I'm going to run through at least at least one or two more examples of this here. So let's look at another one. Let's look at um, uh, let's look at something like three x y y plus two minus three x minus two y. Right. So if we're looking at this we can see that we have coefficients of 3, 2, 3, and 2. It would be real easy for us to rewrite this in a form that makes it easier for us to work with. So if I was going to do that, I'd look at 3xy minus 3x as one set of terms, plus 2 minus 2y. So we just rearrange the order of our um, pol pardon, polynomial here. Now in the first group, we have a group here. We can factor a 3 out and an x out. We have 3x times y minus 1. And then in our second group here, we can factor a 2 out. We have 1 minus y. And you're going to think for a minute, well, what if we reverse these? Well, we, then we have 3x times y minus 1 plus 2 times negative y plus 1. So what we're thinking about this thing, why is our why are our signs backwards? Well, we can we can change this. We can we can we can do a little uh, uh, how do we want to say this sneaky stuff here essentially. So what we can do in this case is we can essentially multiply this whole second term by negative one. And if we do that, we get negative 2 times y minus 1. Now we can rewrite this and say 3x times y minus 1 minus 2 times y minus 1. And if we do that, what we'll get combining terms, 3x minus 2 and y minus 1. Now, we change signs here, but, but does it still work? And the reason it will work we'll see here in a minute. 3x times y is 3xy. 3x times negative 1 is minus 3x. Negative 2 times y is minus 2y. Negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. So, same thing. It works out when we multiply by that negative 1 because it changes the sign that's in between it. So, factoring by grouping, um, this is what we're talking about. Let's look at one more. Um, yeah, let's look at look at one more, and then we'll call this video done. We'll look at we want to have four a x minus four a b minus two b x plus two b squared. And now we want to factor in this. Um. I think I have a good point. We can look at those two terms and these two terms. So 4ax minus 4ab becomes, we can factor out a 4a out of each, 4a times x minus b. And 2bx plus 2b squared. We can factor out a 2b out of each of those too, and we get x. Okay. So we have, we have 40, 40, 40. Oh, this is supposed to be a negative sign there. That's what I missed. So we have negative 2b times, sorry, x minus b. Because remember, a negative times a negative is a positive, and we need that positive 2b squared here. So really, if we look at these combined, we have 4a times x minus b minus 2b times x minus b. Now when we put these together, we have 4a minus 2b as one binomial, and the other is x minus 6. To check them again, we multiply. If we do multiply this out, 4ax minus, uh, let's see, what do we have here? 
uh, 4n minus 1, 4n minus 2, 3x, um, and then plus 12b squared. And looking at this, can all oh, I have a 6 that's supposed to be a b? I can't even read my writing. Huh. No wonder it wasn't looking right. We'll go back here. 4a times x minus b minus 2b times x minus b. There's where we go. 4a times x is 4ax. 4a times negative b is minus 4ab. Um, negative 2b times x is minus 2bx. And negative 2b times b is plus 2b squared. So, yeah, make sure you know what you're writing in the DD. Anyways, hopefully this helps with um, factoring by grouping. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one. Bye.